Good morning. This is Rick at the National Weather Service in Norman. It's the weekly weather update on Monday, April 30th, 2018. This is a recorded version of the webinar material that was presented at 10 o'clock this morning. Busy week ahead weather-wise with the potential, at least in parts of our area, for some very large hail, damaging winds, heavy rain, even some flooding possible this week, and there will be a risk of tornadoes as well over parts of the area. Severe thunderstorms look to be most likely on Wednesday, and we'll even have to be dealing with some elevated fire weather conditions across the western parts of our area, both on Tuesday and Thursday. Here's a quick overview of the next seven days, where you see the yellow. That's when we're expecting the potential for severe weather. Now, this is not severe weather all day, every day for everybody, but there is a potential somewhere within our county warning area each of those days. Again, probably peaking on Wednesday and then uh, tapering off on Thursday, and then we'll have quieter weather as we get toward uh, next weekend. For today, Monday, severe thunderstorms are possible across western Oklahoma and most of western North Texas, the area shaded in green on this map. Um, we expect storms to develop out in the Texas Panhandle and move into western Oklahoma and the western parts of North Texas uh, this evening and overnight. Right now there's a marginal risk, which means we're not expecting very many storms, uh, and the storms we're expecting are not expected to be uh, super intense. We could have some up to golf ball size hail, 60 to 70 mile an hour winds. Tornado potential is very, very low with any storms uh, today, but we could see storms after seven o'clock in the area shaded in green. Tuesday, we have a slight risk that's over in northwest and west central Oklahoma and surrounding that in the area shaded in green is an, an, a marginal risk. Uh, Potential for severe weather tomorrow, very much like today. Uh, we think the storms will develop a little bit closer to Oklahoma and a little bit earlier in the day. So 4 p.m. to 10 p.m. will be the peak time for severe thunderstorms Tuesday. Not, expect, not expecting widespread severe weather by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, could be a day where we have a cap in place and we may only see uh, one or two storms or a handful of storms, but given the atmospheric ingredients that will be in place, any of those storms will have the capability of being severe, with, with big hail being really the main uh, threat, golf ball to tennis ball size hail. Tornado potential will be there tomorrow, but again, it is low. We still have a lot of questions about Wednesday. Computer models are giving us different interpretations or different versions of what may happen on Wednesday. Certainly. Uh, a, a complicated forecast still even two days before. Wednesday, there is an enhanced risk of severe weather. Now keep in mind with these risk areas that one of the main drivers in determining whether you're in a slight risk or an enhanced risk is not the intensity or the severity of the storms necessarily, but it's the number of storms that we're expecting. So most of the time, if you see an enhanced risk, that represents an area where, where the Storm Prediction Center is looking, expecting more severe weather to occur. And that's probably the case on this day. So we are expecting a, a larger number of storms. It's a complicated forecast. Some models don't break out precipitation until very late in the day or in the evening. Some models do it earlier in the day. Right now, we think the most likely time for any uh, thunderstorms and severe weather on Wednesday would be after 3 o'clock in the afternoon and then extending all through the overnight hours and maybe into the morning on Thursday. We will still have the ingredients in place for the potential for supercells with very large hail, damaging wind gusts. Uh, tornadoes will also be possible on Wednesday. Uh, exactly where and, and, and how bad is yet to be determined, obviously, but we are watching it. Uh, so don't think that just because we have a big enhanced risk on Wednesday that we're expecting huge things to happen. Uh, could have a lot of storms, but there's a lot of uncertainty still with the forecast. The outlook is designed to let you be aware and alert as to something that could happen, and that's, and that's what this outlook is showing you uh, here today. So keep an eye on Wednesday, and uh, that looks to be the busiest day of the week uh, by far for, for us as far as watches and warnings go, we expect. Even more questions about Thursday, because Thursday's severe weather will be very dependent on what happens on Wednesday. This is the risk area we have drawn out at the moment, and this is just, there's a lot of uncertainty with this, so don't don't make any specific plans based just on this forecast, but it does look like 
Uh, somewhere in our area, especially the eastern and southeastern parts of our area, may have some lingering risk of strong to severe thunderstorms into today on Thursday. We'll fine-tune that as we go along. And, and of course, like I said, after we see what happens on Wednesday, that should help us determine with a lot more uh, certainty or more certainty, I should say, what, what's going to happen on Thursday. So several days of severe weather, again, not expecting severe weather all day, every day, everywhere, but parts of our area will have a risk uh, every day through Thursday, it looks like. We can't ignore the wildfire potential as winds come up uh, in western Oklahoma on Tuesday. And again, on Thursday, we'll have south winds gusting over 20, 25 miles an hour. And um, with humidity slightly lower out in western Oklahoma and far western north Texas, we will, we will see an elevated fire weather uh, potential creeping back into the forecast. As you probably know, May is usually our most active month for tornadoes. Doesn't mean we'll have a lot of tornadoes in May. We are now in record territory when it comes to the latest first tornado that we've ever recorded in the state of Oklahoma. Um, whenever the next tornado happens, that'll be the latest, the first tornado of the year has ever happened as far as our records going back to 1950 in Oklahoma. Uh, so we average in Oklahoma 23 tornadoes during the month. We've had as many as over, well over 100. We've had as few as zero. Last year, 2017, we had 57. Um, so it's it's important to, to realize that, you know, May is typically our act most active month, but it really only takes one storm and, and one day and one tornado really to make or break the year. We will, of course, be monitoring everything. We do plan to do, we'll be sending out email updates uh, Tuesday and Wednesday for sure. Uh, we will let you know if we plan any webinars for Tuesday or Wednesday. Right now, I would think um, if this forecast holds up, we'll definitely do one on Wednesday morning about 10 o'clock, but I'll let you know for sure on that. So. Anyway, appreciate your help as always, and let us know if you have any questions or need any additional information.